Hey, this is Algin from the Cracked Ass Plastic Podcast, back with another Motu Monday video here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be looking at Hero uh, from Masterverse Revelation. Open up and take a look in just a second. All right, we're back looking at Hero from Masters of the Universe. Here's got it out of the box. Here's a look at the side artwork. It's pretty cool there. Of course, the back artwork as well. Being very heroic. It's like a Eternia Tower. Eternia playset in the background. <clears throat> Hero, the heroic cosmic warrior, armed with the magical sword of He and cosmic armor from the Temple of Power, Hero protected Eternia. The both the Snakemen from oh they missed that. <laughs> they have a misprint here. Hero protected Eternia from both the Snakemen and the Horde Empire. This ancestor of He-Man fought alongside the other heroes in the ultimate battleground and sacrificed himself to save King Grayskull. So, here we, there's a cross cell on the back. We've opened up uh, all the rest of these figures, Jitsu, Sun Man, and Battle Armor. He-Man, of course his beard looks a lot darker in this picture, but whatever, that's fine. So, Hero being the... Um, ancient ancestor of He-Man, the most mad, like, I think they said he was like a magician, like the most powerful magician. Um, there was a Super 7 figure, two figures that came out um, with the, um, like the pre-Eternia stuff um, 10 years ago. They had Eldor and Hero as like these figures that they were never made, but they made them in the 5.5 inch scale. So, glad to see that they have a Masterverse figure now as well. I'm taking a look at Hero. Um, he's got, of course, the H on his armor there. He does have a soft goods cape, 30 points of articulation. Um, some nice golden boots as well. Some gauntlets. And a little golden headband. Face sculpt looks pretty good. Um, Head of focus. Maybe. Well, maybe it won't focus. Uh, it looks pretty good. So, funny story with this figure. Um, I believe I got this as a gift, but uh, I was at Target one day and they had this on sale for fairly cheap, like $12 or something like that. And I couldn't remember if I had him um, already. So I picked him up um, because it was on sale for a pretty good price. And came home and found out that I already had him. So I believe my son Ethan um, ended up getting the other hero <laughs> um, instead. So it so happens sometimes. But yeah, it looks... Come on, focus. I know you want to... There we go. Looks pretty good. Um, still looking to get that Super 7 one to go with the Eldor that I have. Um, and maybe they'll make an Eldor of this, which would be cool as well. Um, he does come with some hands. Um, he has the open hand, the shield, if he had a shield, and a fist. Um, he comes with two holding hands right now. Um, of course, he comes with a, his... Cosmic Staff, um, which you can hold like that and probably hold in the bottom as well. Um, it does open up to reveal a, like a crystal in there, which is cool. Um, and they do, uh, on the very top of the crystal, there's like little um, pegs to so it can like stick and, and stay in there so I can actually click in there and, and stay into the, the crystal you kind of see it there right there um, so that's cool 
and it does open like all the way like that. Or you can, you know, do like half or whatever. But, um, I think when Ethan first opened this a while ago, he thought it was like it looks like a like a lollipop. It just like like one of those not ring pops, but like something similar to that. Or just opens up and there's like a lollipop inside. But that's his weapon, his main weapon. He doesn't come with a sword. Sword of he. Even though they talk about it in the his gauntlets are getting in the way. Come on. Oh my goodness. Really doesn't want to go in his hand. Whoops. His hand came off. Okay. Well, his hand's almost too small for this, it seems like. Oh, there we go. Out in there. Anyway, you can hold it like that or something. It's probably how I have them posed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a lot to the figure. Um, love the color on it. Love the gold and, and the dark purples. I think mean, very royal and um, good head sculpt. So nothing to complain about with this one, I guess. Really stand up. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's standing up. Excuse me. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when a video like this comes out, which will be on a Monday for Motu Monday. Uh, be sure to share the video if you can. Get the word out on all of our videos that we do. Of course, you can go to our website www.cracktasticplastic.com website is a place to go for all the things you need to know like links to our social media um our podcast which comes out every other tuesday patreon for five dollars you can be part of our exclusive chat and uh amazon wish list if you felt so generous as to get us something then we would do a video like this and uh give you a shout out and say thank you for the awesome gift <laughs> um what else there's bios there's our sponsors, uh, Toy Hacks at toyhacks.com and Big Bad Toy Store, where you can use our affiliate link, which is bbts.cracktastplastic.com. And it sends you straight to the store and tells them that we sent you there so that they know that we sent you there. Um, lots of other stuff on the website. Check it out merch and stuff like that, like this hat and other things. Uh, be sure to go to the website, which is www.cracktasticplastic.com. Uh, this has been Hero flying in, saying, see you later. And I'm saying, ciao, for now. <laughs>